Hello everyone, my name is Lillian Lyle and I am doing my research on sex trafficking. Um, that's going to be specific to the United States and I'm going to be touching also on kind of the sex trafficking that is so heavily present in Vegas. Um, so first of all, sex trafficking is a form of modern day slavery. Um, when you think of slavery, you think of forcing somebody to do something. A lot of times people think that um, prostitutes are people who enjoy selling their bodies or who are voluntary to do so, um, when in fact, most of the time, they are being controlled by somebody who is forcing them to do that, um, who is called their pimp. Um, unfortunately, a lot of the time, that chain of re that chain reaction in going into um, the sex industry um, happens and starts from a young age so most of the time girls are in between the ages of 14 to 16 when they are they first enter into some sort of uh, relationship with a person who like promises that they will love them or promises like a good future or promises stability or for whatever they do um, to initiate a relationship and then after a certain amount of time uh, once they kind of have them wrapped around their finger they will start to force them on the street um, and this when, when this starts happening um, at a young age girls become really reliant and dependent on their so-called pimp so by the time that they're um, young adults or adult women um, they're they, they don't know how to escape that life um, because they are so incredibly dependent on their pimp because their pimp takes all of their money that they make. And so they have no money. Their pimp provides everything they need to look good on the streets. Um, so they really don't have money to escape from that lifestyle. On top of that, they're usually being beaten, um, emotionally ab abused, uh, raped, all sorts of things where they don't really have an escape. Um, a lot of times these girls or boys can also be runaways, so um, people don't even look for them because they're unaware of the circumstances that they're in. So according to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, about one in six kids who run away or who are considered runaways um, are likely to end up as sex trafficking victims. Um, let's see. Um, so, uh, something interesting to note is that 15% of calls to the National Human Trafficking Hotline are from the Dallas-Fort Worth area, um, which is an insane percentage. Um, meaning that in our area, there are a lot of young women um, and, and men who, um, or young boys who are being forced into this type of bondage, this type of slavery. Um, and between about 15,000 and 18,000 people are being trafficked in the U.S. per year. Um, which is a lot of people. So a lot of times people who end up being trafficked um, meet their pimp or the person who ends up being their pimp um, through like social networking sites. So we're talking about like chat rooms and, and things of this nature where people are going to these websites um, to find others with common interests. Um, Another, I mean, I can remember as a kid going to, or as a teen, going to uh, social networking apps like this or um, internet sites and chatting with random people. And at the time, I had no idea how dangerous that was. But for people at, at, they, at that age where it's like very common in between 14 and 16, you usually have kind of a low self-esteem. You're looking for someone to build that up. Um, so... That's that's what people that's what these pimps are looking for. They're they're looking for girls and 
who have low self-esteem, um, who they can feed off of for that. So additionally, something that's pretty unfortunate is that um, when girls are found prostituting on the streets, um, they are charged with prostitution. Um, and so this becomes like a cycle. Uh, you get charged with prostitution, uh, you go back to your pimp. Um, once you have all these charges, how are you going to get another job, you know? Um, so you become even more reliant on your pimp. Obviously, a big misconception is that human trafficking only happens to get people out of the U.S., to get them across the border to go elsewhere, but that's not true. A lot of human trafficking happens within the U.S., um, and people are used essentially as sex slaves um, to earn money off of. So in terms of talking specifically um, of the state of Nevada, um, they have two laws regarding human trafficking. Uh, one is it's illegal to traffic somebody into Nevada for financial gain. And the other one would be it is illegal to traffic someone into Nevada for illegal purposes, meaning to um, bring them there uh, and make them subject to involuntary servitude, um, or to violate any state or federal law or commit a felony in Nevada. Okay, so prostitution is illegal there, which is a misconception, but it is illegal there. So some people are asking the question, well, if girls are caught by police, how come they, they don't tell the police that, like, they are being pimped out? Well, the problem is that they have, the pimps have them under such control that by the time they're caught by police, their mouth is shut and sealed. Like, they will not tell um, police who their pimp is because they know the repercussions. Additionally, if they tell, even if they did tell the police who their pimp was, all of the other girls under the control of that pimp would deny that he was a pimp also. So it's really one person's word against all these other people because 99% of the time a pimp is not just going to have one girl. He may start with one girl, but he's going to have a lot or he's going to have a few girls um, at least. Now, like I said, prostitution is not legal in Nevada, uh, more specifically Vegas. A lot of people think that Sin City allows sex exchanges uh, freely, but it's not legal. Um, so a lot of the ways that people will, that uh, law enforcement will catch individuals um, who are selling themselves or who are looking to uh, make that sort of transaction, um, they'll just set up sting operations. Um, the problem, again, with that is that normally you're not going to I shouldn't say normally, but a lot of the time you're not going to find the pimp. Um, you'll be able to charge the prostitute who is a victim to sex trafficking, and you'll be able to charge the John who is looking for sex uh, or for sexual favors. Um, so although the John should be charged, the problem isn't being addressed from the root, which is the pimps who are selling these girls. Something else that should be mentioned is that a lot of girls um, who end up pregnant um, will be beaten and uh, abused until they experience a loss of that child, meaning they're experiencing severe trauma to their internal organs because of that abuse. So anyway, thank you guys for watching this presentation. Um, good luck to all of you with your research papers and everything, and have a great semester.